Hey guys, my name is Lucas, and today I'm going to show you how I grew a salad in my room. I'm super excited, so without further ado, let us begin. I start off with a 72 cell seed tray which I will fill with my custom potting soil mix. Link in the description for a video on how to make this. This is the messy part of the project, and it takes a few minutes to completely fill the seed tray with soil. I shake the tray a bit throughout the process to expose any air pockets, and then I fill them accordingly. I then place the filled seed tray underneath my grow light, and pour about a quarter inch of lukewarm tap water into the tray. This will pre-moisten the potting soil, preparing it for seed sowing. About two hours later, the soil is moist and ready for planting. I'm planting three varieties of lettuce, butter crunch, romaine, and black seeded simpson. These seeds are coated for easier handling and visibility, as well as increased oxygen penetration. It's extremely important to label the cells so that you remember what you planted where. These are just some cheap sticker labels I found at the dollar store. You don't have to be fancy. Lettuce seeds are quite tiny and can be difficult to handle. First I make a hole about an eighth of an inch deep in the center of each of the cells and pop two to three seeds in each hole. This way, if one of the seeds doesn't germinate, I have backups. This is a very tedious process, but just be patient and you can do it. Finally, all the seeds are nestled safely in their germination site. Time to mist the top of the growing medium to ensure that the seeds have good contact with moisture. This is crucial for germination. After this, I place a clear plastic dome over the tray. This helps maintain moisture levels. Monitor the tray every day and remove the plastic if you see mold. Ah, we're beginning to see some sprouting action here. The butter crunch seems to be germinating most vigorously while the other varieties are a lot sparser. I guess butter crunch might just be the Usain Bolt of the lettuce world. <laughs> Finally, things are filling in a little better, and the seedlings are becoming larger. There are still some cells with no sprouts, so I'll separate some of the triplets and transplant them into any vacancies. Easy does it now. Don't want to damage these tender little seedlings. I bury them up to their seed leaves to increase stability. It's necessary to water after transplanting to minimize transplant shock. To do this, I use a syringe because it's accurate and heck, why not? Time to give this lettuce a little taste of their own medicine. Drippity drop, 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 drop. Let's water these little lettuce guys into their new home. Yep, he's really liking that. Oh no, his leaf fell over. Oh, there we go. It's day 19, and these lettuce babies are growing up so fast. Almost all of the seedlings have their first set of true leaves now. Yeah, these are the black seeded Simpsons. You can see they got the curly leaves. Really cool. Light green. Overall, things are just looking really great here. They say it ain't easy being green, but these lettuce seedlings sure aren't supporting that claim. A little over a month later, the lettuce looks good enough to eat. It really amazes me how these plants grew so big in such a short period of time. To what can I attribute the success of my indoor lettuce crop? Could it be my grow light? potting soil used? Or the amount of TLC I put into my plants? Or maybe it was just my green thumb. Magic. Or just pure luck. Whatever it was, I hope it happens again. It's time to make a salad.
here we go. Mmm, pretty good. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's see if we can get 1,000 likes on this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, grow it best.